Hi, Kevin Purcell here from Itachi Vantera. I'm actually shooting here from Lisbon, Portugal at the beautiful Four Seasons Hotel. We're spending the next few days at our GSI Executive Summit with our top global strategic partners. And I'm happy to say that um, we're here with a very special guest, Monish Mishra from Mindtree. Monish is the Vice President of Service Lines here in the European region and is also the Global Business Officer for the United Kingdom and the Ireland region. Monish, it's great to have you aboard and really love your participation in the event. Firstly, thank you, Kevin. And thank you for organizing such good weather in such a great place. Coming from the UK, damp and cold. <laughs> really liking the weather here. <laughs> you know, I understand that. I, uh, you know, I love the UK, but I'm not so sure I like the weather. So I know there's a lot of initiatives going on around go-to-market between our two companies. But I think it would be wonderful to hear just a simple overview of what Mindtree is and, and who, you, who you actually are and what you do. Yeah, so let me start with last first, right, in terms of what we do. Uh, if I look at it from how we impact the businesses, there are three paradigms, I would say. Uh, a big focus for us and a big chunk of our revenue is focused on revenue acceleration for our customers. Uh, the second is cost efficiencies. Mm -hmm. And the third, and most importantly in the, you know, in the near scenario, is on sustainability. Uh, seeing increasing traction from the clients on sustainability, largely driven by regulations and their self-needs. So uh, this is uh, in terms of what we do, but if you look at our pedigree, uh, it's been predominantly on the digital side and digital transformations that we did and it is for that reason that uh, LNT as a group acquired us or acquired majority stake in Mindtree in uh, 2019. Uh, and since then we have obviously been delivering to uh, the digital transformation agenda for the customers. I mean a quick case in point, Curry's where we are doing an omni-channel program. Uh, things that we are working with Hitachi on the cost efficiency side, case in point Knopf and on the sustainability side Again, for one of the large uh, FMCG customers, global, with some 400 brands, they had a planned living plan 2020 that they acquired that. Uh, and we obviously are enabling that by creating a what we call a product or a framework called Eco Design. That's helping them design products which are more ecological friendly and more uh, sustainable, both from the packaging and the product perspective. So. A long answer. Yeah, that's great. Well, it's exciting times with l and uh, I know that um, you're going to see even more acceleration with the two companies. I don't want to go out too far and say that you will probably be the fastest growing organization in the region and globally as well uh, as this merger uh, comes to play. So I'm excited. I know Itachi is very excited about it. Um, where do you see the innovational, I guess the innovational joint offerings coming to play in the next year or so between our two companies? Yeah, so as we come together, right, LTI and Mindtree, one of the things that uh, you will see an increased focus is the sheer breadth of industries that we are now uh, addressing, right? I mean, we were there, uh, Mindtree was there in manufacturing, banking financial services a big scale for l &T but there is energy utilities that they bring in. Healthcare and life sciences actually double up on both the sides. Travel, transportation, hospitality was critical for us. Uh, where I see our customers and businesses moving are two areas. One, more focused on looking at an offering-based approach where we you know, have a very tailored offering which is more horizontal in nature, cutting across the industries. And second is more business solutions which are not necessarily packaged, mm. but you tailor them to a business problem for a customer. I mean, a case in point is for one of the logistics company that we are discussing as of now, is a big, huge scale that they need for the asset management uh, of the trucks, mm. right? So that is a problem statement. Now, how do we solve it for them is another one. So it is a combination of how do you assess the damage? It is a combination of how do you keep the records? And that's where Hitachi comes in. So. Where I see we need to focus on is accelerate on where we are on the offering. Uh, and second is more importantly on the industry verticals. Mm. But I, you know, let's not take the credit away from the innovation that we've already done in the partnership. Right, exactly. 
So, uh, whether it is in terms of the go to market, whether it is in terms of the offerings that we have created, but like any relationship, if there are areas for us to accelerate upon, I would say these two. So, where do you see the largest opportunity for success together? Industry solutions. Mm. See, I, Hitachi has a long heritage of, or uh, you know, deep heritage uh, when it comes to the different industry it caters to. And uh, that now gets complemented uh, by the group capabilities that we had LNT. We already had that, but when it comes through uh, the merger, you will see a lot of uh, depth in terms of the capability there, whether it is manufacturing, energy utilities, uh, increased verticals that we are looking at. So I think that is going to be a key one for us. Uh, high tech, uh, media entertainment, uh, and somewhere uh, we have to start looking at and doubling down on the industry solutions. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a good to be a big play. Well, that's very well said. And I, and I can tell you just, and you and I have lived this, you know, being adaptable, especially over the last few years with everything that's gone on in the world, I think the two companies need to be even more adaptable, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So where do you see, the final question really is, <clears throat> where, do, where do you see the next steps in terms of taking our relationship to the next level? In fact, I was uh, in India, like I was mentioning you, right, as a part of a business review. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I was telling it to our alliance team that, look, if there is three things that I want us to do as part of taking the relationship to the next level, it is execute, execute, execute. That's it. it is our business plan is a fairly robust business plan, whether it is in terms of go to market, whether it is in terms of offerings, capability building. One area that I uh, maybe is, uh, that I need to focus upon and uh, you know from my entry that and, and Hitachi is to localize the relationships. I think the relationships and you know I always say United States has gift of homogeneity. <laughs> we don't have that gift here in Europe. Yeah. So we need to ensure that uh, we drive the same level of relationship and rigor in different parts of uh, European geography to make it successful. And I think we are getting there. Uh, nothing uh, takes us there when it is a deal that we do together or a solution. So I think we're doing that now. Excellent. So hopefully we'll see an acceleration there. Excellent. Well, Monish, thank you again for participating in our executive summit. Uh, I'm excited about our relationship. I'm excited about the merger. And um, I really look forward to a great and prosperous year going forward. Thank you, Kevin. Really, really pleased to be here. Uh, look forward to exciting two days ahead. Uh, and catch up soon. Excellent. To well, our relationship. You, Cheers. Absolutely. Thank you. Pleasure.